as of right now, what I'm doing is taking the bottles, putting them from the box into the machine itself on our conveyor belt. Then I'm going to be marking down the boxes. This one is called Vanilla Marion. So I'm going to mark it with the name or the abbreviation and also the batch number. We do that on both sides just so we have a little bit ease of access. Next, we're going to move down. I'm going to show you guys kind of what we're working with here. Today, we're doing a corked product. So therefore, we are using our corker here. This guy has all the corks on the inside of the reservoir. Using pneumatic power, it's going to shoot them up through the line all the way down and across to our corker over here, as you can see. So as of right now, it looks like a cork has gotten stuck in our corker apparatus. So he's just getting that guy out of there. Oh, whoa, they came in sideways? Wow, that's crazy. I've never seen this happen before. We just had a cork go in sideways to a bottle. So as of right now, we're just taking a brief break to fix it so that everything will be working smoothly again. Never been seen before, mind you. So this machine is capable of filling a few different types of bottles. We have bottles that are capped off with corks. We have bottles that are capped off with caps. And then we also have bottles that are left open so that they can be sent to our bailing machine over on the other side. Guys, I'm gonna get a closer look at that little, uh, little mishap that we had there. That cork is completely broken in half and sideways inside of that bottle. Once they come out of the rinser and they head towards the filler, they're raised up on pedestals, which sets the filler into place so that we will not get any oxygen ingression into our bottles. As you can see, they're filling. This machine is specially designed so that all of these bottles have an even fill. If they're not evenly filled, we can't sell them. So it's important that we have this thing programmed and set right at the beginning and end of every run. You know, there's not a lot to say about this machine because it does a lot of the explaining for you. It's very, very, it's very intricate and very interesting. If it wasn't for this machine, we would have to fill pretty much every single bottle that we do by hand. So this saves us in like hours and hours of time and manpower. 960 bottles an hour. It takes about 15.5 seconds for six bottles to get filled. And that's with all of the different cycles that we do with our machine. We have certain things called degassing cycles, which are imperative for products that have carbonation so that they won't spill over and waste product as we fill them. If it wasn't for those filling phases, we would have a really hard time getting our carbonated products filled on this machine. Bottled, corked, and ready to go over to our labeler section to have the labels put on and sent out. Corey boxes them up in 12. They all go in rows of 22, or I'm sorry, layers of 22 on the pallet. So we usually stack them up to about five to six height. And we wrap them and we put them back in the warehouse until they're ready to be labeled. 